Coming up on 5-Minute News. COVID-19 surge in the US, the summer of hope ends in gloom. UK and France grapple with surge in migrant channel crossings. And solar could power 40% of US electricity by 2035. It's Thursday, September 9. I'm Anthony Davis. The summer that was supposed to mark America's independence from COVID-19 is instead drawing to a close with the US more firmly under the tyranny of the virus, with deaths per day back up to where they were in March. The Delta variant is filling hospitals, sickening alarming numbers of children and driving coronavirus deaths in some places to the highest levels of the entire pandemic. School systems that reopen their classrooms are abruptly switching back to remote learning because of outbreaks. Legal disputes, threats and violence from Republicans have erupted over mask and vaccine requirements. The US death toll now stands at more than 650,000, with one major forecast model projecting it will top 750,000 by December 1st. It wasn't supposed to be this way. More than six months into the U.S. vaccination drive, President Joe Biden held a White House party on July 4th to celebrate the country's freedom from the virus and other political leaders had high hopes for a more close-to-normal summer. The summer wave was fueled by the extra-contagious Delta variant, combined with stark resistance to vaccinations that formed along political and geographic lines, said Dr. Sten Vermund of the Yale School of Public Health. The US recorded 26,800 deaths and more than 4.2 million infections in August. The number of monthly positive cases was the fourth highest total since the start of the pandemic. The 2021 Delta-driven onslaught is killing younger Americans at a much higher rate than previous waves of the pandemic in the Northeast last spring, the Sun Belt in the summer of 2020, and the deadly winter surge around the holidays. Even before the Delta variant became dominant, experts say there were indications that larger gatherings and relaxed social distancing measures were fueling new cases, exposing a flaw in some Republican governor's plans not to enforce distancing or mask mandates, which critics say is not only prolonging the pandemic, but that some governors should take responsibility for the unnecessary loss of life in their states. Britain's interior minister was meeting her French counterpart on Wednesday as the UK pressed France to do more to stop a surge of migrants trying to cross the English Channel in small boats. Dozens of women, men and children wrapped up in blankets were brought ashore on Wednesday in the southeast England port of Dover by British border force boats after being picked up from dinghies in the Channel. Thousands of migrants have landed on beaches in southeast England in recent days amid calm, summery weather, with 785 arriving on Monday alone, according to Britain's Home Office. More than 12,000 have made the crossing this year. In 2020, about 8,500 people made the journey, and several died in the attempt. Migrants have long used northern France as a launching point to reach Britain, either by stowing away in trucks or on ferries, or increasingly, since the coronavirus pandemic disrupted international travel, in dinghies and other small boats organised by smugglers. The British and French governments have worked for years to stop the journeys without much success. Earlier this year, Britain agreed to give France £54 million to help fund a doubling of the number of police patrolling French beaches. But channel crossings continue to soar. Refugee charities say tough talk from the British government was pointless and urged the government to make it easier for asylum seekers to safely come to the UK. Solar energy has the potential to supply up to 40% of the nation's electricity within 15 years, a tenfold increase over current solar output, but one that would require massive changes in US policy and billions of dollars in federal investment to modernize the nation's electric grid, a new federal report says. The report by the Energy Department's Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy says the United States would need to quadruple its annual solar capacity and continue to increase it year by year as it shifts to a renewable dominant grid in order to address the existential threat posed by climate change. 
The report released on Wednesday is not intended as a public policy statement or administration goal, officials said. Instead, it is designed to guide and inspire the next decade of solar innovation by helping us answer questions like how far does solar need to increase capacity and to what level. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm said in a statement that the study illuminates the fact that solar, our cheapest and fastest growing source of clean energy, could produce enough electricity to power all of the homes in the US by 2035 and employ as many as 1.5 million people in the process. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news. Daily.